So here we are, L200 V40. That'll be grotty. Start some drivers always. Needs a proper wash. Scuffs and scrapes. I think we're just going to wrap to this solid. Chassis a little bit. Um, a bit of surface corrosion, but it's not too bad. Buy some new leaf springs, comes with a different set of wheels. Uh, Ford anti roll bar. Not really sure what's going on there, but yeah, paintwork wise, it needs a proper wash, decon wash, interior. I wish people could smell this because the interior is really, really horrific. Um, it looks worse than what it is, but yeah. Uh, as you can see there, some spores on the steering wheel, got my eye, there's a floor rat and some multi-purpose wipes, we're going to wipe down the seats, wipe down the seat belts, and then, uh, yeah, see if we can get this home, hasn't moved for 8 months, starts and drives, uh, the original battery is not there, so he's put a small battery on for us, um, I think they're still classed as a 4D56, so, yep, yeah, and obviously that's a small battery, it's quite small, that needs to be a lot bigger. Although it could be the right size, I'm not too sure on that one. I've got a look. But yeah, there's no leaks, it's just a little bit uh, scruffy, a little bit grotty. So, see how we get on with this project. So, guys, got the truck home. Obviously, as you can see, the interior is absolutely filthy. I had to wipe that seat down just to drive it, I had to wipe the seatbelt down and the steering wheel and the gear knob. But yeah, so as you can see, it has just been pretty mucky. Lots of Little bits of mould, I think, door seals have maybe failed, so we've got some really good stuff. That's an arch liner, I think. I don't know if it's out of this or whether it's out of something else, so we'll get back to that at another point. Um, but at the moment, it's just brushing down all of the interior bits with the brushes, just to get in the door uh, hinges, get all the cobwebs out, try and move everything off the seats onto the floor so we can um, hoover the floor, and then obviously we'll end up um, clearing all of the rubbish out after everything's on the floor and then we'll wash the seats but as you can see there's major major cobwebs there uh, just everywhere door cards are moldy um, spores everywhere like I said I think that door seal has maybe failed a little bit up against the body uh, but yeah let's see how we get on with the interior on this I am immediately, I am immediately regretting buying this. Just ugh. not too sure of them seats clicking there, but it didn't need to be. We'll see the. So I'm gonna go and go up the screw fix and get some masks because this is really, really harsh work, especially with all the mould in the air. So catch it a bit. So here we are. Had to take out the seats because obviously it's all rotten and grimy. What's these seats? Which are barbarian interior. All behind here is all really, really grimy. So, in order to get it out, you had to take the seat belt off, which is the um, middle seat belt. Goes in there to 17. Um, two nuts on here, uh, which that bar goes on top of. Um, they're uh, 14 to get the other side out. So the top of the rear bench, which is that one there. Again, that needed to come out because that was proper rotten as well. Um, that was a, I think that might have been a 17, uh, but yeah, as you can see, the backs of the seats needed to come out and obviously to get it there, the proper access we needed to get the seat out. So folks, we um obviously been cracking on with the L200, um, a lot more grime than what I was expecting when we took the back seats out. Uh, so here is the finished product. That is, I think that's as clean as what we're going to get in the back. Um, this is 
We use like bathroom spray and something called Inferno. We've done the seat belts. And uh, now I'm just about to put the seats back in. Seats have came up much, much better, but still not 100%, but it is a working truck. Just spraying some of this uh, designer fragrances, black cord, just on the bottom of the carpet, uh, just there, back of the thing, back of them seats. Uh, just on there, it's just a fresh up a bit, maybe take the smell of a bit of more out of the way, it's going to get a full gas off Chris, which is like an antibacterial gas. Centre console, this is not shutting properly, it's full of shit. Um, so, yeah, I think the whole centre console is probably going to be just washed, empty, and then I'll replace the centre console um, and see what happens. Got some nice mats in here, steering wheel, obviously, it's got a bit of leather missing off that. It is just been a working truck. Um, as you can see there, the headliner probably needs to be replaced at some point because of this sort of mould here. Um, I think on this, it shouldn't be too hard to replace. I think you don't have to take the whole pillars off. I think you just take the grab handles out with these two little pockets here. And then, yeah, get that sorted. So well, guys, I uh, just thought I'd give you um, a bit of an end to the video. So we have obviously cleaned all of the truck, as you can see, uh, done the best job that we can with the tools that we've got. Um, I drove it yesterday, uh, it drove okay, uh, took it on for about 20 mile test drive, wheel bearings are definitely needing to be replaced, the tyre size wheels and tyres are basically off a four work L200K 74, so the model before this, so they need to be changed as well. Um, but I don't think the interior was too bad. Um, it's one of those things where I think I'm going to have to probably do a little bit more. I think we're definitely going to have to replace the headliner because the headliner is definitely uh, a little bit mouldy. And it's definitely going to need a little bit more work. In here, I could just, I've got asthma, so I could sort of like taste the mould. Um, and I believe that it's probably from the headliner. Um, I, I'm pretty sure it's from the headliner. The rear bench seat, that will not uh, close for some reason. I've had a look at the cables on the back of the, the bench seat and they appear to be stuck. Try to lubricate them with WD-40, but a lithium grease just not happening so obviously somebody spent a fair chunk of money here doing the barbarian interior uh, but it's sadly gonna have to probably go the rear bench seat anyway and um, see if i can get a replacement barbarian interior so yeah i'm, I'm quite excited about this project because it, it, it is a project um, and i don't think it's going to need a lot it is completely a blank canvas like I said, we need to replace that wing. We need to do probably a Raptor paint job. I think if we do the Raptor paint job, we're probably going to do it and take the tub off, get the chassis coated and so on and so forth. So there will be more videos of this coming up. It's not going to be like the Range Rovers where, you know, we fix them and then sell them on. This is probably going to be my everyday working truck. So, yeah, but uh, I just want to say thank you so much to everybody who's uh, liked, shared and subscribed to the channel. I know the Range Rover videos are very popular. The, L the, sorry, the Land Rover videos are very popular as well. There is going to be um, a Lexus IS250 Sport video coming up. Uh, I just want to get this one out there because, like I said, we did pick up the truck and we did do quite a lot of work. So I thought you guys might like to see what we've done to the L200. Um, there will be an update on this video as well because I've got I've basically spent um, four five hundred pounds on some parts to to sort of change the look of the truck. Um, at the moment, I'm still trying to find insurance, which is very strange. Um, it actually seems to be more expensive to insure than a Range Rover TDV8 on standard insurance, which is pretty wow at the moment. Um, so I'm still trying to figure that out, but it's one of those things I'm not really... I don't really see that as a problem. 
there'll be there'll be there'll be somebody out there who can insure this truck pretty cheap uh even with modifications declared so yeah but um uh, yeah thank you so much for everybody to uh watch this video um i really appreciate all the comments keep up the uh comments like shares and subscribes uh if there's something that you see that you want me to um sort of divulge in um give a better description or if there's something that you want me to see um, to make the viewing experience even more enjoyable please just uh, drop me a pm um, or just like and um, drop a comment on the video okay cheers now thank you bye